it's Hira. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am sorry for the delay in the video last week and this week. I've been really busy with work and getting stuff together for Christmas, so I haven't really been able to find the time to upload something, but I promise in the new year I'm going to have more videos, I have a lot more ideas that I want to show you guys, and more events coming up here. So with that being said, let's get into today's video. And please don't mention my wrinkly background, okay? I know it's... I didn't have time to earn it! <laughs> For today's video, I wanted to do another DIY project. Today, I'm going to be upcycling this old Starbucks apron into a super cute rave outfit. You don't have to have, obviously, a Starbucks apron to do this. You just really need any apron. Maybe you find a really cute one and you want to wear it to a rave, but want more rave in the apron. All you need for this little DIY project is going to be a needle, some thread, a pair of scissors, and an iron. And that's it. So with that being said, we are going to get started. I can't do an overhead view, by the way, because my light reflects off the table and it looks like crap. And it's nighttime right now, so it's very dark. Uh, so you bear with me here. Have you guys angled down a little bit more so we can see a little bit better when I'm doing things. The first... <laughs> so the first step that we're going to do to create this rave masterpiece of an apron is to start cutting out the top. So. We're going to be creating a halter top off of this, so we're actually going to keep this strap up here. Everything's already sewn in, super nice. Don't have to worry about that. But we do have to make a cut right below where this tie is. We're going to go about, I'd say, two, two and a half inches down, so right about here from that corner part. In order to cut that, I am literally just going to fold it like this and try to cut as straight as I possibly can across it. I would pray that you guys have fabric scissors if you plan on doing this. I don't. These are really crappy scissors I got from the dollar store, I think. Or maybe it was Michael's, I don't know. They were very, very cheap. I'm going to get to cutting. And once I finish up with that, I will show you what it looks like so you can have a better view. I am also going to cut off the strings from the apron. We only need one for the top and one for the bottom, so yeah. Okay, I finished cutting the top out. So this is how it's going to look with the side piece. So as you can see, it's in halter top form. What's really nice about using an apron for something like this is we have like our finished edges already on all sides except for one which makes life a lot easier. Now let's cut the skirt. You're left with this piece of apron. Look at it, gorgeous, so much fabric. We're actually going to keep this whole upper part here. Um, we're going to need it to create a, look, I don't know any sewing terms, so we're gonna use it to create a little loop-de-loop -loop thing with a nice finished seam to be able to string the stringy through. I'm going to cut the bottom of the skirt off because we don't want a skirt to be this long. We want a short, cute, rave mini skirt because we're here to show off our butts. You know, if that's what you're into. You don't want to show your butts? Okay. I'm going to cut right down from the pocket is what I'm going to use as my measurement source. What we're going to do is we're actually going to fold the lower piece of the apron and meet that bottom seam to the bottom of the pocket and where that fold is is where we're gonna cut about there and if it needs to go shorter then it can go shorter but we can't put fabric back on so that piece that we just cut off the apron we don't need any more because now we are almost finished cutting out our skirt we are keeping these side seams here for the skirt because again it's like one less seam that we have to sew. In order to keep up with how the pockets are angled though, I want the skirt to kind of rep replicate that diagonal shape. So in order to cut that evenly on both sides, we're going to fold this right in half a ruse. Just going to cut a similar diagonal line coming across here. You can make it as close to the apron, as short, as whatever the heck you want. Um, I'm just gonna cut a straight line. No measurements needed because that's 
gonna confuse me and I don't care. So I finished cutting out the skirt, skirt, the skirt, and this is what it looks like. So the lines are diagonal in line with the pockets. I know they're not the straightest things on the face of the planet, but that's okay. We're gonna fix it when we iron in our scenes, so I'm not necessarily super worried about it. Step that we are going to do here is fold our seams and iron them down so it's easier to sew them. This is something that I learned in grade 9 when I took sewing classes. You iron the seams and it makes it 10 times easier to sew them. I know, it's crazy. Wow, life hacks! Get at me 10 minute crafts! I'm going to show you on this little spare piece of fabric so it's a little bit easier to see, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to fold a small seam down that's probably about like half a centimeter and that's what we're going to do to make our line as straight as possible and then we're going to fold that seam again right along the line so you end up having a seam of about you know a centimeter maybe two centimeters when we fold it it'll look something like this so that raw edge is covered up inside of our seam and we have a nice straight line to look at. So that's the gist of it. So unfolded, it would look like something like this. And then that's the raw edge. So again, we'd fold down, you know, about half a centimeter to a centimeter. And then we would fold that seam in again. So we end up with something that's nice and flush straight edge here and a straight edge here at the bottom or as straight as it can get just so that everything looks really nice and polished even on the inside and we don't see any of that raw edge because when we see that raw edge it looks a little bit unprofessional unless that's the type of shirt or look that we're going for. For the skirt itself we're going to fold the second fold a little bit larger so what I mean by that is this raw edge here on our skirt we will fold again about half a centimeter to a centimeter down like so, so the raw edge is inside. And then when we fold it down again, we're actually gonna fold more so like about an inch down so that our seam on our skirt, give me one second here. The seam on the skirt is actually about this big. So this is gonna be the only larger seam that we sew on. So again, that raw edge is tucked inside of this piece here, only about half a centimeter that we're gonna iron that part down. And then we're ironing down a full inch of roux into there. The reason why we have this seam so large is because we're going to be threading through one of the apron strings to make the skirt kind of a drawstring type of deal. Just to recap, we're doing a two centimeter seam on all of the edges except for the top edge of our skirt. And by that I mean we're folding down the edge by half a centimeter and then we're folding that edge in again by another half centimeter to a centimeter so it's a nice and thin seam. But on the top of the skirt, we're folding down one centimeter, so about like that much, and then we're gonna fold that down about an inch, so it's about this large compared to being, you know, a centimeter large. So after I iron it, I will show you what it all looks like so we can get a better idea of what I mean, because it might be a little bit confusing how I'm explaining it, but yeah. I mean, if it doesn't make sense, leave a comment and I can try to explain it better with my words, but we're basically just ironing our seams so we can sew them. But yeah, I will be right back with all of those finished. Alrighty, I have finished ironing both pieces and I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. For the top, this is how I have the ironed hem looking. So it's nice and fairly straight as you can see. And for the skirt, this is how it looks all ironed, um, minus like these really bulky seams on these apron, like they don't tend to iron that well, but we can just tuck it in when we sew. But 
from the back side, I wanted to show you guys what I meant by having that larger seam on top. So the bottom seams are about this big, so it's about a maybe like a centimeter or two or something like that with everything folded in. But the top seam is a little bit larger, so it's a lot closer to what I ended up ironing the halter to. But again, it's about, I'd say an inch, which is more than enough to feed our little apron string through. So with that all ironed and ready to go, we will start to sew. So, so, I am using this black thread. It's 100% polyester, so it doesn't really have any stretch to it, but that's okay since we're not making a stretchy outfit. How I like to thread things is that I'll pull off a bunch of thread and snipperoo, and I'll bring that through my needle, so give me like 10 minutes to do so. And then with that loose tail end of the thread, I take my pinky finger and I wrap it around my first knuckle three times. And then I roll it off of my pinky like this. And then you're left with this like little loop-de-loop. -loop. That's a bunch of thread. And then all I do is that from the longer end that's attached to the needle, I hold one hand on it and then the other hand just pushes or grabs that needle part and I create a little knot out of it and you can kind of pull it tight on both ends whatever and then from there I just cut off all of this excess string and now I have my needle on a thread so stop so starting on whatever side that you would like this is how our seam looks folded and we're going to take our needle and we're going to actually unfold it and put this through wherever it's covered up so that we don't see the knot. We're going to refold this like so and my thread's coming out around here which is fine and to kick things off I'm going to take my needle and go right through this little bottom portion here to catch that end piece and then I put it through down back into here so it could help hold the seam down a little bit more. So to give it a little bit of extra reinforcement, we're on the front side now, I'm going to take my needle and go right back through here very close to where my string just came out of, push my needle through, bring all of my thread with me, and that should be keeping it fairly secured. So to continue sewing, hand sewing, I know, all the way down the rest of my little ironed seam here, what I will be doing is creating a longer line, something about maybe like half an inch long or so. I come through onto the front side where my string is, I'm going to bring my needle back through very close to where my thread just came out of so that on the seeable side, on the right side, we're going to be left with some very small black stitching that'll be very hard to see, and then on the back we'll have the longer lines. And then we're going to continue doing this all the way down the seam. The reason why we're making the stitch so close to the top of where this inside fold is is because that's going to be the best place where it's going to catch that first raw edge that we folded in, and it's what's going to keep it most secure. If we were to put this stitching at the bottom rather than the top, that raw edge would be popping out on the inside and that's not something that I like in clothing. I like all my raw edges to be tucked away and not seen or spoken or heard of. So you're more than welcome to do all of your stitching on the bottom edge or add accent stitching along the bottom edge if that's what you're into, but I'm only doing my stitching on this top edge here where this fold is on the inside just to make sure that everything stays tucked away inside and looks nice and somewhat professional for somebody who has like less than a year of sewing experience. So the skirt itself, make sure that you are doing your sewing along this top folded edge as well along here because we do need to be able to string our apron string through 
So if we do it down the middle, we won't be able to do it. We need to make sure that we're getting as close to this folded edge as possible where we are stitching. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up sewing this entire set because that's what's going to take the absolute longest, but I'm using this exact stitch for every single seam. I'm just about to finish sewing up the last seam of the skirt portion, and I want to show you guys quickly how I make my knots with this thread and how I finish off everything. So what I do on the back side, of course, because we want to hide everything, I take my needle and I go through that last stitch that I made, which is this straight line here, and I'll take my needle and I'll go right underneath that, just like that, and before I pull it all the way through, the loop that's formed when I push my needle through, I will take my needle and put it inside of that loop, and then I'll pull my needle all the way through. So what that does is that that creates a knot on my previous stitch, which holds everything together, and I repeat that process three times. And uh, we will cut that, and then I will show you how I attach the apron stringies, and then I'll show you how it looks on. We'll start with the halter top to attach our apron string to. This is the easiest one to attach a string to because all we are doing is that we're cutting a little slit right near the edge of these longer strips for the string to go through so that we can create the back. And the reason why I have the back tied up or that it will be tied up is so that this top can fit nearly anyone of any size and it's extremely adjustable. I'm going to take this, fold it in half, and then cut a little slitteroo. Woo! And if you need it to be bigger, you can go in with your scissors and cut it a little bit bigger, which is what I'm going to do on this side. And then what we'll do with the string is that I will bring it through the back and out through that hole that we just made, and then again through the other side, I just bring it right through the back. And then this is the part where we will tie it off, which you'll see better in the video, but like, or in the, you'll see it better in the outfit reveal, but I'll just tie it in a nice neat little bow. So this is the finished top here. So as you can see, we have the cute little strap, and then the back is just, it's a super simple little halter top that we made and it ties up which is what makes it so adjustable. Let's move on to the skirt. To thread your apron string through your skirt you will need a safety pin or you can push through it. It's just going to take forever and might be impossible. I am just going to pin this right onto the end of my apron string. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on either one of the open ends and we're just going to begin to push the safety pin through just like this. It'll take a couple of minutes but she'll go through, I promise. So I just feel where the head of the safety pin is inside of the seam and from there I hold the end of the safety pin and then I'll push fabric through and then hold the top of the safety pin and then pull the back over. And we're just gonna keep repeating that until we get all the way through. And we have our finished skirt. What I like to do, instead of having it lay flat because I find that to be a little bit unflattering, um, pun intended, I will just scrunch up the skirt onto this string here. So you end up with this like super cute like little smock apron skirt that you can tie around you and bonus is that it has pockets so you can put all of your belongings in there. If you want to make the pockets extra secure you can always sew on buttons but I'm really lazy to do that so it's not happening. Maybe stick on velcro or something like that with some good fabric glue. But that is the finished two-piece set and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on, so I'll be right back. This is the finished outfit. It is super cute, but it still kind of resembles the whole apron-esque of the traditional Starbucks apron that we started with. 
pockets are fully functional and I love how like simple and easy this was to make. So I have it currently paired with right now a simple just white swimsuit bottoms here that I have owned from Dollskill for quite a while and then underneath the top I just have a white tube top that goes with the set just because I think it looks really nice with the whole green and white thing of Starbucks. And then on top of that, I have some thigh-high, which just come above my knee because my legs are super long. Some thigh-high socks with some black stripes on them, just because I think it adds to the whole cuteness and flirtiness of the outfit. So, that's it! That's the whole tea! Thank you guys so much for watching this video and going through this process of making a super cute rave outfit upcycled from something that you probably already have at home. It's really simple and easy to make and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Both of these sets I made as I also made one in red from the red apron that I have, I have sold. But if any of you guys do want to send me over any old aprons that you have for me to upcycle into a really cute rave outfit, either leave me a comment on this video or preferably send me a message on Instagram and we can see what we can work out. But. I'm really happy with how this turned out and I'm super excited to see what outfit that my friend comes up with who bought the sets off of me. So thanks Katrina for supporting me, I love you! But until next time you guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you... and subscribed. Oh dear. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more of me. Especially in the new year, I'm going to make it a really big point to make sure that I have something uploaded for you guys every Thursday. And in the new year, I will have a few wrap-up videos for the festival that I'm going to, which is contact right at the end of the year. So, thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you soon! Bye!